notebook has sections and pages right here. So let's talk about the sections first. Here you got the section. This is the default section, section one. So I may want to rename it to something like map. And maybe I want to rename this one to science, just like this. And you notice immediately the color change right here. Each of the section has different colors. So I can have my math note over here. I can have my uh, science note and math note separately, just like that. And what I can also do is I can change the color. So I can right click, I can go into section color right here and choose any different color that I want to. Similarly, I can add in another uh, subject right here. Let's say something like English. All right. So now what I may want to do is create chapters for all of these and have it separately. So in order to do that, I can actually create something called section group as well. In order to do that, I'm going to go over here onto the side. I'm going to right click and I'm going to say new section group. And once I do that, I can simply say math and I'm simply going to drag math on to this group right here. What, uh, what it does is it moves the, uh, moves that panel over there, the, uh, the section onto the section group right here. I can right click and go to new section group right here. And I can also create another section as signs like this. I'm also going to create new section right here and new subsection. I'm just going to remove this to write uh, to delete it. Just press delete right here. It's asking me whether I'm sure. So I'm just going to say yes. And over here, I'm going to right click create new section group again for English just like that. All right, there you go. So I'm just going to drag this in and over here. All right. So now, once it's dragged in, you can see that I'm inside the section and this is how I navigate to the parent group right here. So I can click here and you can see that English is here. I may want to rename this into chapter one and I want to have chapter two right here, chapter two, and for this one, chapter three, right? I'm just going to click here, double click, CS3, chapter three. All right, CS3 and so forth. So I can go back, go to another one of my subject and do the same for this one. CH1, chapter one, CH2, and I can go back. I can go on to my science group, CH1 for chapter one and so forth. So you can easily see that you can easily manage all of your notes right here in one file and all of them are accessible. So it is great for your class notes as well. So you can go over here, add in some sections. So you can go for English right here. You can go for math. You can go for science. And if you want any chapter to be in the front, you can simply click and drag onto the notebook right here, onto the no main notebook, just like that. And it comes back out. So you just drag it out onto the arrow. You're going to drag that back in, just drag and keep it inside right here. And it goes inside. All right. So that is how you create uh, sections and if you want to delete them you can simply right click and delete the whole section just like that you can um, you can delete the whole section group so i'm just going to delete it and all of the sections have been deleted once i do that and over here if you want to change the location you can simply click and drag it and you can see that you can change the position of your uh, sections just like that. So you can go into English, change the section of the group right here. So just change the section location right here and it changes. Um, you can reorder everything out. So that is how you work with sections, rearrange it and delete sections in Microsoft OneNote. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.